Hey guys, Richie from Fret Junkies and we are back. Very excited for today. Um, we are going to be doing a product review, a uh, demo. And we are going to be looking at one of my favorite pedals. It's a Univibe, but this time this is the offering from Adj and Ziano. Gypsy Vibe. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet as to not to bore you too much. Um, and we'll get into the tones, but that, there are a few important things I'd like to say about this. This, this pedal is um, a recreation of the older style units. Um, with that in mind, when you plug this in, it's gonna operate a bit different to how your more modern units will work. When this is plugged in, much like the originals, the preamp will always be engaged. Um, so you get that sweet, you know, sweet kind of tone added to your signal. Um, it's foot controller. Which, which I really actually like. Uh, at first I kind of, it took me a little while to get my head around it, but um, I've had it for a month now. And I actually find it a lot more practical um, when it's set up in this kind of chain. So th th I think this is gonna be set out for guys who, who are true connoisseurs who want the older style tone and big box unit um, and everything that comes with that. So a more modern unit you could put on your pedal board, perhaps you could put this on your pedal board, but you put a more modern unit on your pedal board and you can turn it off and it wouldn't be doing anything to your chain. This operates much like the old Chine units, you know, the honey vibe and etc. like that. Once it's in your chain, like Hendrix would use it, it's in your chain. So it's always color in your tone, but it just adds a very pretty sparkle. The controls are pretty much self-explanatory. We have a volume, an intensity, a chorus and vibrato. Like the originals, we have two instrument inputs, one output and a foot controller. And the packaging it comes in feels like you've just had something delivered to you from the cartel. It's amazing, really, really nice touch. The box is, is quality. Um, the little case candy, we're going for a close look at that now. You'll see it's just, it's just, it's just everything about it is quality. It's very, very nice and the tone is beautiful. Um, with with the unit, you'll get a little certificate of authenticity, which will give you your serial number, um, and then a little, you know, a disclaimer, a risk of electric shock, etc. Um, it's just you're feeling like you're getting a, a nice bit of quality, and like I said, I think this is really aimed at the guys who you know want that Hendrix thing um, and want the originality. Uh, you know, perhaps this, a fuzz and a wah in, in your chain, uh, much like Hendrix, and that would kind of cover all bases. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna plug it in. We are gonna go through the vibroverb, and I'm gonna play and adjust the speed and the intensity um, as we go. And then I'm gonna play us out at the end. So yeah, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Arjun Zieno um, for this opportunity. And I would definitely, recommend you go check them out this is not their only product that they um they have available they have many other stuff on their website um and franco's just an all-around good dude he really is and that really helps with everything i think that passion comes across in his builds his passion with his clientele and everything it's it's right there and that's that's a really really nice thing in in a modern market um, so yeah, we're going to get stuck into it, guys. This is the Gypsy Vibe from Arj and Ziano. Let's get liquid. Okay, guys. Um, so this is going to be a playthrough. Um, we are going to begin on the chorus setting. The volume is maxed and the intensity is at 1 p.m. Uh, personally, for me, a sign of a good uni vibe is you don't need that intensity dialed right up. Um... It's useful, it can be used in certain situations, but um, yeah, I like it at one o'clock. So we're gonna begin with the intensity at one o'clock, and I'm gonna show you the various speeds that can be um, achieved by the foot controller, okay? So, let's get the bypass tone. the pedal very slow pulse and sound so that 
that's like a reminiscing of a really kind of slow Leslie. And then we're just gonna dial up through the through the speed controller now. Let's take it to the max. I noticed about this unit is when it's dialed up maxed it actually does sound like a bit like an old Leslie sounds like those old Beatles tracks controller of course is that you've got the access to the speed at your foot now a lot of the pedals um, that come out have a bigger control knob so you can access it that way as well it really is uh, up to you whether you want more real estate on your board or you want a foot controller you know um, that's what it comes down to in my opinion I do actually I've grown really fond of having it the speed under my foot so we're dialed for the speed again I try and find a, a nice speed setting um, that I like. too much and too little for, for certain songs but yeah that's kind of a nice uh, nice nice speed we'll go to the neck middle now <laughs> Thank 
that's the speed control on the course setting. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to find a nice speed that I like, and I'm going to take the intensity up, okay? Let's try there. And then we're just going to dial the intensity up. And what the intensity will do, um, it brings through more bass, um, in my opinion, it'll slam your amp a bit harder. Um, so, you know, if you're at, if you're perhaps if your amp is set really bright, and you're not getting that kind of warm, hollow, liquid mid presence, um, chocolate smoke, um, slam your intensity up, and that's going to bring a bit more bass through. Okay. <laughs> I probably go for less intensity is I'm using the 15 inch speaker 15 inch speaker carries a lot of bass anyway so um, I've never struggled with the with the bass coming through <laughs> Should be able to hear the presence coming through the the, the bass. So again, dependent as I've always said with these with these effects is so rig dependent and so personal. I like it. I like it. The intensity in between one and three. Sometimes I like it maxed out, but yeah, one and three is kind of the sweet spot for me. So I'm going to take it back to there now, okay? So that's the intensity on the chorus side. I'm going to back the speed off, and we're going to go... over to the vibrato side. Now with the vibrato side, um, I've said this in previous videos, I really think to get the most out of the vibratos, you gotta have the speed up. It needs that wobble. Uh, leaves and twigs, as I read somewhere recently, and that's a really good way of putting it. You know, you need that kind of uncleanliness, uh, less surgical, more kind of, yeah, more kind of wobble, I guess is the best way for it. So we'll take through the wobble now. The volume is max, the intensity is on two o'clock, and we will dial through the speed. Intensity up, let's, let's push this one to the max, okay?
kind of like just off edge, almost pitch shift that comes in, and that's the really prettiness. I mean, for me to get the most out of this, you need to hit with a wire as well and some sort of echo if you can, and you're really going to get all kinds of like liquid. Um, and the vibrato is one of those things that does change often in, in uni vibes, in my opinion. Uh, one pedal, like the chorus, they all kind of are different but kind of sound similar. But the vibrato will sound different in many different units. Um, so yeah, that's the vibrato. Intensity dialed, the volume dialed. And uh, one more time for the speed. We're going to dial it up. Pushing the speed up now. And we're at maximum speed. Okay. Okay guys, so that is a playthrough of the Agent Ziano Gypsy Vibe. Um, my signal chain has been pure, there's no tips or tricks on this, it's just going straight into the vibe, straight into the vibe reverb, keeping it as pure as possible. What I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to find my favourite sound, I'm going to play you out. Make sure to check these guys out, as I said before, they've got a lot of the products on um, sale as well, and if you're after an authentic sounding uni vibe, with all the things that come with an authentic sounding uh, uni vibe, but with modern reliability, then I'd probably look no further. This is a really is a fantastic unit. Um, this is Richie from Fred Chunkies, and thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna play you out. Let's go.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 